Shalom and welcome everyone, I'm Panikush and this is another episode in Crusader Kings 3 campaign mixing with the battles of Attila Total War with the mod 1212 AD. In this episode we continue the journey of Amir El Umrah who stands here in the middle. Amir El Umrah saw a lot in his life, fought many many battles. He expanded his realm of Africa. He rules now in many many strategical locations in the area of Tunisia, moved his capital to Tunis and expanded here to Banzarat. Um, we also have uh, very nice locations in Sicily, including Palermo and Syracuse, the, most, the biggest cities or the biggest counties in uh, Sicily. We have another neighbor here, Agrigento, a neighbor that started Muslim, but now he converted and joined the enemy and joined the infidels, the Catholics. So he's still Baranis, which is my group of Berbers, which is the native North Africans. Um, but uh, because he's not in my um, religion anymore, and by joining the infidels, I have now an excuse to start a war against him. He's very smart, he's very educated, seems like he's like very into books and he's a scholar. Um, maybe he found wisdom in Christianity, what can I tell you? But that doesn't matter, this is a roleplay based campaign, which is important to man mention. So that doesn't matter to our Amir El Umrah, who is Muslim and is going to stay Muslim Sunni. Uh, not such a religious person, definitely not. All he cares about is wars and money. He is patient, he is honest, that's through his diplomacy. Um, but uh, mostly he cares about money and that's why um, having uh, Sicily and this area of North Africa is great. It's great for money, it's great for business, it's great for trade. We have ports in Tunis, we have ports basically, we have a, we have a port in Tunis, right? Yes, we have a small harbor in uh, Tunis and we can also make a small harbor here and in Palermo which is the... Yeah, definitely Palermo needs a harbor. Trade port, yes, definitely. We want a trade port, we lost our money. Um, and we're going to finish our mercenary contract with the Sardinian band, a bunch of uh, Christians who fought for me against the against the Fatimids in, in our previous episodes. Um, but right now things uh, look kind of stable. I do have one more domain than I should have, but this is something that I already started to say in our previous episode. Uh, Amir El Umrah is an old man, 52 years old, fought many battles as I said, and I think right now he th doesn't think about fighting wars anymore, he's tired and I think what he cares about is leaving a legacy, he thinks about the next generation, he thinks about Prince Ismail, our handsome, curious child, uh, to inherit this realm, and the question is what is going to inherit, what is gonna get, so... I think I'm going to change my focus, definitely my focus, even though, let's see, mm, Gallant will give me prowess, mm -mm -mm, naval speed, siege weapon effectiveness, I mean it doesn't really matter because I'm not planning to lead armies anymore, which means that we are not going to play um, Total War um, as long as um, uh, Amir El Umrah is still alive, or maybe our son will be our general and I will play Total War if it's one of our immediate family is participating in a battle. But anyway, until then, um, there will be a different general leading our army. Because our uh, Amir El Umrah is going to focus focus um, now on wealth focus. He's, he's a greedy man and therefore wealth is going to be the next thing. You know, at the age of 52, I think wars and... Um, commanding armies is not uh, a thing anymore. I have some prisoners to uh, ransom and I will definitely do that. I have this Egyptian man and I will uh, imprison him. I will imp I will def I will uh, ransom him and I will definitely ransom every person who can give me some money. This woman can give me some money. I don't hate anyone personally. I don't have any rivals. And to tell you the truth, besides the fact that he loves money so much, he's not a bad person at all. He's an honest, patient man. Then these people cannot really give me um, any money. This guy, he was the leader of a rebellion, a peasant rebellion. He is a Muslim and Barani, so he's my culture. He's 24. He has a 24 marshal. Maybe he could serve me. I see that my current marshal doesn't love me. Oh, 28. Yes, that's my Faris. A very, very capable man. Very capable man. Okay, my Faris. 
Um, I want to assign you. Why you cannot be assigned? Maybe I need to wait a moment. Okay, can I do it now? For some reason, I cannot assign you. Why I cannot assign you as my marshal? That's something that I don't understand. I, I will probably be able to assign him, but I want this guy. Why not? It doesn't tell me. It just doesn't accept this option. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Um, I have a great counselor. Steward. I mean, that's my brother, right? Yes, it's important to satisfy him, even though he hates me. He hates me so much. Minus 57. I cannot change my... Um, this guy... Um, Let's see. So I still don't get any penalty. But eventually I will need to give this to someone. And you know what? My Faris, that guy, that old man. That could be my marshal. Maybe. So I don't know why I cannot give him. Be my marshal. But I think. He's a lowborn. But I like that he's intelligent. Well, let's play a roleplay. Because you know what I thought? I thought maybe to marry him to my child, but... As a roleplay, what? As a greedy man, as a ruler of Africa, which is a very respectable nation... Why would I marry my daughter... Um, to this nobody? Notable guest has arrived. Hello, notable guest. Um, Dunkuta Salit. Okay, he's a... Uh, Sahelian group. So he's uh, an African. Um, what can I tell you? He has many claims that I don't care about. I have no reason. Wow, look at the Almoravid. Look at the Almoravid. It's like a superpower. They reached me. I have a mutual border with them. Okay. Okay, so our ally wants us to help him against this guy over here. And uh, we will have to accept. We will have to accept, though I think it's inevitable. No, I don't want to raise my army over there. I want to raise my army over here. I think it's inevitable the Almoravid, that that the Almoravid will swallow him as well. But I will try to help him. I'm not so much though. Look, they have 5,200. Now we have 3,000. And this, among these 3,000, it's, it's basically me. He has nothing. You, you know, I think I'm not going to respect this, uh, this alliance. I'm, I'm not going to send my armies over there. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. Just because I don't want to. Um, I think uh, it's inevitable that you're gonna fall. You don't have any... Look, he has 21. And 21 seems like he's max. So, I'm sorry, I'm Emir Abu Ammar. It was nice to have an alliance with you. He helped me with the war, uh, with wars in Syracuse. But... Um, yeah. There is no uh, any reason to keep this alliance. So, I can create a duchy. Duchy of Gabes and Duchy of Sicily. Definitely I could do that, but I wish I had the Duchy of Tunis, and that's my goal here. I want Duchy of Tunis. Oh, and I can usurp it. Very good. Okay. That's it. I usurped it. It cost me money, but it gave me a lot of prestige, and now my glory is widely known. And I have the Emirate of Tunis, which is my primary. And I have the Grand Emirate of Africa in Tunis, is my capital. Super nice. Super nice. Okay, now after all these wars, can I finally... Um, because I cannot start another war, right? We have a truce here. If I'll fight... A, yes, I will break the truce. Um, I think a feast could fit. Uh, what about physician? I still have a physician. Okay, so you used to be the leader of... Uh, so he lost, of course, and that's it. He's no longer exist. As a leader of a rebellion, goodbye. 
You, child. Who is your father? Why your father doesn't care about you? Your father doesn't own any land. I will release you. Unless you are something special. No, she has a club-footed. No, I will just release you. I won't even ask from you to convert. And what about this guy? This guy, also a prisoner. Maybe that was the <laughs> rebell rebellion leader? I'm not sure. I don't think so, though. He's a mag maghrabi. Um, outliving child. Oh, Allah. What the hell? Oh, Allah. How could it do this to the Bal Balara? Okay. What? Okay, my, my, my daughter is dead. Seems like her her husband's still alive. How how did uh, died in childbirth? So my grandson, he was born, and he's actually in my place. He's under my 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 uh, custody, I would say. And um, he's terrified. Don't be terrified. You're zero years old. Okay. Let's continue dealing with my uh, with my prisoners. So he was a leader of a, of a rebellion. He's a very, very capable military man. I might... I don't understand. That annoys me as hell. Maybe because I cannot fire? Do you have a hook or me or something? I don't know. Why can it change? So I have, a, I have strong uh, vassals who demand um, console position. I do need to give this to someone. Now who I'm going to give it to? Let's look someone in my realm. Someone who is a good as good as military. So this guy is still my Faris. He's the best man. He has no children. So I will grant him a title. I will give him this place. Unless, though, I do have this duchy of Tunis. Maybe I do want to give him... I will give him Gabes of Sfax. I do want to hold Salerno and Syracuse. So I want to give him... Yes, Sfax or Gabes. Gabes is Buter Ibadism. So I will, I will give you Gabes because anyway, Gabes don't have my religion and my culture. So maybe, yeah, and you're Buter, so at least you have their uh, culture. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you Gabes, and and now you're going to be a, and now you're a strong vassal of mine, correct? And uh, for that, maybe now I can give you what the hell? No, I'm I'm kind of like furious here. Why? Why? I'm trying to understand. Should be a reason here. But the game doesn't tell me. Now he's for sure can be my... Can I just fire you? Is that an, is that an option to just fire you? Because if I want to, for example, fire you. Just fire from the console. Because I believe that if I will swap between you, it will let me. Yes, it will let me. Um, so this is the guy. I mean, actually, this guy is even better. Okay, now I can place them. Okay, so because I cannot... For some reason, I cannot... I cannot change him. Let me check again. Yeah, I cannot change him. No matter what, I can swap him, but he has to stay... Does he hold a hook on me? I'm trying to understand. This character is so annoying. Uh, and you, who are you? A Marshal and a Faris. You are a capable man, but... Uh, but this guy is even better. And this guy is a strong... Is a vassal of mine. And you're not a vassal. You're just my Faris. So, goodbye. You, the person who hate me... Is my spy master, which is the worst thing that can happen because he hates me and he might even plot to kill me. So maybe in prison you will will be act of tyranny. Hmm. 
I'm not going to revoke you. I don't have a problem that you will keep this barony. I have a problem that you're in my console. That's my problem. Okay, let's continue. Now, my dear vassal of Gabes. My dear vassal, you are married. You have a wife. Okay. Accusation of witchcraft. A bloodstained clothes, crow's feather, strange smelling uh, of uh, concussions. Okay, this is an evidence presented to me by a group of villagers from Palermo. As a proof that Tarmus, Tamrust, uh, has been practicing uh, witchcraft in her hut, uh, the outskirts of, the, of their village. Wow. The villagers claim that her evil work must be cause of their sick animal, animals and calling for execution. So they suspect that she's a witch. And I suspect that you are a very nice woman. I suspect that you are a very nice woman. And I want to follow you. Um, she's genius, in case you haven't noticed. I'm an honest man. And as an honest man, I'm not going to kill you. Because I know that you are not a witch. You gain 300 uh, stewardship uh, lifestyle and um, I could use her as my advisor, upset peasants, or I should just kill her. She's, she's genius, but she cannot produce any children. She's too old for that. Uh, let's kill her. It's a shame. It's a shame. It's a shame. Small harbor has been constructed in Palermo. So I was wondering about this witch, if I knew that she's a witch or not. I wonder if it was the right choice. So she's dead. I'm like, there is no reason to follow her anymore. Amir Abdallah ibn um, uh, Muhammad. Still fighting internal wars. Still uh, dealing with some uh, civil wars. Uh, civil wars against the tyranny of him. Um, and I have this guy, my half-brother. Who has children, so he has a hair. Okay, this hair gets, um, yeah, gets the education of his father. Oh, I'm trying to sway uh, the... Yeah, there is no reason to keep swaying our uh, Alma. He likes us anyway. Um, there is a place that I need to... Yes, we need to improve the control over here. I have to change this person. I want you to die. What's going on with this person? Wow, he's so skinny. He's the skinniest character that I've seen in this game. And he hasn't... It, I mean, he has a small problem. Physical problem, but... Um, whatever. Maybe I will plot to kill you. If I will try to kill you, there is not a lot of chance. And I will get stressed because I'm honest. Your dynasty is unlocked mostly fair, which means popular opinion plus five. Okay by my dynasty head which is this guy why are you my dynasty head you're so insignificant so yes this is mostly fair that's what he opened fine which means that i will never kill a witch if is a an amir al umra next time because I'm not, um, I'm not this. I'm an honest person. I'm not this kind of person. Anyway, you're so insignificant. You're a vassal among the Almoravid, of course. This super. Oh my God! Look at that. The Almoravid is pleated. Oh, the things that happen. Almoravid still has a stronghold here. Um. Lack of sheriffs. Uh, okay. Fine, let's pass time. I have enough money for to make a feast. I think it's it's about time to hold the feast. I'm going to lose stress a little bit. Vassals are going to improve their opinion on me. A cherry gathering. The guests are gathered in the great hall. Lords and ladies from uh, from the near and far reaches of the realm. The mood is bright and, spir uh, and spirits are high as the feast begins. Welcome, friends. Welcome. So this is the feast and uh, I'm there. 
And these are all the people. So my half brother is there. Who is the client? This vassal. Oh, this vassal who hates me. Um, he hates me because he wants to sit in the console and he no alliance is a powerful vassal. Who, why are you claiming you think you're a powerful vassal? You have nothing. I mean, he's inside. He's inside Tunis, but um, he only has a, a temple. You're not gonna get anything. Oh my God! Disaster strike in the in the in the feast. My lord, the wine! We racked open the next barrel. It has gone bad. It has all gone bad. The wine. So we have problems with the wine. The feast is still raging, but without drink, the mood is sure to dwindle, uh, dwindle at uh, a cruel pace. The wine merchant should be still be in the town. You do not have 75. God damn it. Okay, it's gonna cost me some prestige. I will get 40, fine. I hope they still enjoy without wine, what can I tell you? So I have my half-brother, uh, who is that? Um, yeah, that's my half-brother. This marshal, which I like, I just gave him this uh, of Gabes. Um, so these are the important vassals. Do we have anyone else from um, outside? Your vassal, only people from my realm. Okay, so it's not like an international gathering. Feast, uh, Mustal Spirits, what is it? What started as an ordinary feast became an exceptional one to thank to the presence of Amira El Umra, Skims, which is my wife. Thank you, my wife. We spoke all evening about all manners of subject and as things would have been seen have a lot of common, I had such a good time with her. Amazing. I love you, my wife. I love you. Okay, I'm not... I don't love you. I'm plus 29 with you. That's what I feel towards you. Plus 29. Which is the most among my other women, my, so... Fine. Let's, uh... You can unlock a perk, that's nice. Let's work on uh, money. I think not in, not in administration, not as money, that's what we care about. You can demand payment for hooks. That's nice. Let's see, I can create more titles, more duchies, and I would like to create a duchy of Syracuse. I think it's about time. Do I have the money? Sicily, sorry. Don't have the money yet. You can designate a guardian for my daughter. My quicker daughter. She's quick and just. Okay. Who is going to educate you? I think your your mother. Your mother is going. She's quick too. Your mother is going to educate you. And what about my precious son? Yes, it's about time to give him some education. So, his guardian right now is his mother. Thank you, mother. Now... Someone else. So, you will be good with diplomacy. And learning. Now, I need you as a good... Dip diplomat is good to me. Who can teach you diplomacy? I have this counselor. My counselor can teach him. He's a charismatic negotiator. He's a Bedouin. Same religion as I am. Okay. Let's give you some diplomatic education. Fine. Few, too few spouses. You can negotiate an alliance with my half-brother. Did my half-brother expand eventually? I don't think so. I think he lost his war. He is, uh, yes, he did not expand. Um, I gained some money. Good. Um, thank you. For my brother is my steward. As my guest departs, with everyone headed for their respective home, uh, respective homes, okay, I'm proud to say that the feast was a success. I have my wife's coming to thank for much, thank you my wife again, for much of its success and I feel nothing but gratitude as she sees the, le the last few guests off. Until next time. So my wife did a great job, my wife. Let me... Let me do some seducing with you, or romance. That'd be nice. Declaration of love. The time has come to let my feelings towards Amira El Umra Skims be known. I want her to remember this day for the rest of her life. Okay, so I love you, my life, my wife, and I want to do something with you. Sing a love ballad. Am I a person who sings songs? Uh, write a love poem. Do I know how to write? I have a nervous learning, so I guess I do know how to read at least. Um, Okay, impress her with winging a sparing, uh, a sparing match. You declare your undi are dying uh, devotion to... Okay. Uh, go with uh, my gut uh, in the moment. You declare your underling... Okay, I think I will go with my gut in the moment. I'm an honest man. 
I'm not like trying to impress you in yeah I will go with Magat in the moment yes declaration of love I recruit one of the most senior soldiers and practice with him for three days straight one one he deems me ready we okay so my character went for the for the military option we had to and that's not a surprise because I'm, I used to be a military man we had to gather to the main uh, courtyard as we begin to spar a crowd gathers and their cheers soon draw none other than the fearless Amira El Umra scheme so my wife sees that I guess the soldiers fight uh, fights uh, violently but I disarm him with a final flawless thrust amazing I kneel before schemes and I declare my noble intentions at the age of 56 I kill someone for you I don't know if I kill it. I win a battle for you. Uh, a duel. I dedicate this victory to you, Amirael Umra Schemes. Bringing you honor is my only desire. My songbird uh, is speechless, but clearly flattered. Why else she would be smiling? Amazing. Schemes uh, won't resist my charms for long. Okay. Okay, my love. My love. Plus 54. Yeah, I want to, to, to die in a bed after I achieved all of this. I think Amirael Umra can die very peacefully. He chased after money, he chased after... I don't know if he chased after glory, but he also had glory. He, he lost two ch children. That was the most major blow in life. But hey, nothing is perfect and I still have two amazing daughters. One of them died as well, so I get to see three of my children die. But I have another... I have a newer generation. I have a 20 years old daughter, which means that she has to start, you know, thinking about getting married. And I need to think about an alliance. I have no alliance. I can I can get an alliance with you. We have the same religion. You are Butar, which is Berber. I am Baranis, um, but I'm also Berber. How about you get my daughter to him? He will accept, and we will have. But we won't have any. We won't have um, an alliance with this. I can take one of his. Yeah, I can take one of his daughters. I could, if that's the only way to get your alliance. In the other hand, why would I want him strong? Let's open our eyes to the east. No, no, definitely. He, this guy is not my religion. He doesn't like me. Oh, because they are not the Almoravid. Yeah, they are. The, yeah, okay, the kingdom of Maghreb. Okay, the Almoravid still rule there. What about this person? And the Lucian. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't think of of an alliance right now. Just like marry my 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 daughter. Hmm. I can I can marry this man. Of course he won't accept. He's the sult vassal in the Sultan of Egyptian. But you know what? Maybe I can bring some Said blood to my um, to my uh, realm. Hmm. Let's see. Is there anyone who, has, who is a Said that will accept to marry my daughter? Said? Like a maternal or... Uh, yes, this 11 years old child. He will also give me an alliance with the Sunni Caliphate of the Abbasids. Are you kidding me? This is also an Abbasid kid. This is a very respectable family. Okay, even though my daughter is younger, she will get a lot of prestige. He will get a lot of prestige. Wow, so your father is actually the... Is the Khalif. Your father is the Khalif. And you... Wow, so why he's... Uh, why you're not the heir? Basil in the... This will be the heir. Okay, yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this. In five years, he will be 16. They will start producing some children. It will be nice. Okay, so my daughter, Princess Salama, is betrothed to Ali Al Alai ibn Al Muqtadi. Okay, so they are betrothed, and she will get, I think, um, a the Said uh, trait. Their children will get the Said trait, and then I will have some pro uh, some offsprings who are Said, which is a very respectable trait. They are descendants of uh, the Prophet Muhammad. Great, so um, we're in a good place, I have to say. We're in a very, very nice place. We don't have the biggest kingdom. We don't have the richest kingdom. But I feel very, very satisfied with what I have. The only thing that I wish to do 
is um, to secure the Duchy of Tunis, which is also taking this county over here, and uh, also to secure the Duchy of Syracuse. And then we have, um, I would say, one, two, three complete duchies, right? I have the I have the Tunis. I can already create the Duchy of Gabes, in a, if I'm not wrong. And I can also create the Duchy of Sicily, but Gabes is completely mine, right? Yes, only two, only two uh, counties for it: Sfax and uh, and Gabes. Who rules Gabes? This Wali, who is 60 years old, and he has a wife, and his wife looks very um, ready for action. I would say. What is she doing? She is wife of Wali. What? What else? I guess she's. I don't know. She's. I. I. I just wonder why she's wearing like this because as a Muslim. It's not so common that women will um, wear um, armors as a general. I don't think she's leading armies, but I could be surprised. I have no idea what she's doing. Anyway, as I already said, um, our while uh, Amir Umrah, he's um, he's approaching to the end to the end of his life. He's uh, 56, not so old, but um, definitely doesn't have the energy and the strength that he used to have when he was younger. And um, I don't think that going on wars will be something that he cares about so much. I think what he does care is about what is about securing the duchies. Now I cannot really go... Can I go to war with you? No, we have a truce. Um, but I could go to war with you. You have a truce, but you have much less soldiers than I. We don't have a truce between us because we never fought against each other. We actually, we actually used to be allies. Um, and you have much less soldiers than I have, and you're not um, you're not Muslim, and therefore I think it is time to take you. Holy war for a duchy that would cost me 100 piety if it was a holy war for a county. Okay, so basically it's just double. Um, do I want to? No. Prestige will be 375. But I have a lot of prestige. You know what? I will go for a... a conquer, for, gun, conquer the Duchy of uh, Sicily. And let's do it, guys. Let's do it. So we have an army. We have a war. And um, let's bring... So... Let's bring some... Let's see the Faris. So if all of them are my Faris. All the rest I'm gonna cancel because they're below 12... Fine, fine, fine. Okay, you guys are my Faris. I have many, many arms. Not many, but I have a decent amount. 400 and 300. So let's go to Palermo. Let's raise all the armies here. Who will be my general? This amazing person who also has the Walia of Gabes. Yes, with his... I guess he's such a great general that even his wife behaves like a military person. Okay, 3,000 soldiers are doing their way to take this duchy. Okay, I'm besieging his capital uh, in order to end this war as quick as possible. He might... Tr yes, okay, I will try to defeat his force. And only then... I will crush you easily. I'm gonna win decisively. Of course, it's not a battle that I'll be taking in total war. I'm not leading it. I'm an old guy. I have my own person who will do this for me. Who is quite older than me. But, you know, I'm his liege. So, um... That sucks for you. You have to serve me. You got Gabis. I didn't give you Gabis for nothing. Okay, we are besieging. Let's pass time slightly quicker to see how it pa how it goes. Romans. So I'm keeping. I'm, I keep my Romans with my wife. The rain is pouring down outside. My serene Amira El Umra Sakims sighs as she looks out at the blurred window. How rich as Tunis can be. I wish I had someone to keep me company during long and uh, dr dreary days. Is my pet a cat person or a dog person, I wonder? Okay, so she's quite lonely in Tunis. I don't know, it's a rainy day. I like cats. I like cats. I have to say that's my own preference. Possible like, um, adores the cat or adores the dog. Special gift, special gift. Basically, it's not. there is not a huge difference. Uh, fear not, I will always be by your side. No, I will get you... A, I mean, actually, right now, I will be by your side. I'm 56. I'm not leading armies anymore. I was... 
Wait, if she has a scheme success chance, well, I will be by your side. This is role play. I'm with you. I'm I'm I'm, I'm old. Where should I go? Is Amira El Umra? Is Amira El Umra? I have been obligated to attend a local sparing tournament, but the con uh, content stands have been delayed. The, tur the tourney won't start for at least another hour. Looking around, I notice my wife. Uh, Sakims sitting under a nearby pavilion, uh, clearly bored halfway to death. On the other hand, I could just pass the time by re uh, reading Quran while I wait. No, I will go to my wife. My wife becomes my friend. Yes. Another event, lively livestock. As additional payment in the recent trade, I find myself in a possession of a large herd of cattle. That's nice. I have been assured that the animals are uh, of the highest quality, but the question of what uh, should be done with the remains. Tunis will prosper from the herd. It's a beautiful herd, but it could be larger. This is a stewardship challenge, and I am greedy, so I might go for this one. The hides will turn nice profit, bring the clever. So, cattle herd, development growth in Tunis, or large cattle and then develop... Okay, let's go for this. It's a beautiful herd, but it could be larger. My breeding project is successful. Nice, very good. Um, and my other um, rival, um, Abed El Hakak, who used to have Tunis, is dead. Until oh my god, are you kidding me? She's dead. My wife. I was just I was on my try way to win her heart. It doesn't. Why all the people that I try and nurture are dying? How did he die? Died of heart failure. God damn it! I used to. I loved you. You were my friend. Now I have zero relationships. All my rivals are dead. And um. My friend, my wife has died. I have another wife. She is plus 42. Notable guest arrived. Why are you notable guest? Because you have some nice claims. I don't care about your claims. Okay. So, um, we continue the siege. I have this wife. I mean, she's genius and she's a herbalist, but she cannot give me any children. She's 60. Okay. I just need to keep to make sure that my son, my nine years old son, is um, is alive and well and protected because people die and what can we do people die heresy what kind of heresy sufrism i'm not going to convert myself to sufrism and where it is in oh that's far away oh that's so far away that's so far it's in basically russia no don't care what is that? Crazy people over there. I, we have been burdened with your oppressive law. Again, I have a, a peasant revolt. I keep getting peasant... I am... Um, no. No, I would not give you anything. Okay, so... Peasant revolt. Now, you know what it means. You know how I lost my other children. So, I have to finish this revolt as quick as possible. I will finish this uh, siege in seven months. That's a lot. And they will finish in eight months. Wow, that's risky. I will split my force. I will split my force. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, split, split in half. Fine. Let's take... Let's take this army. Put... This general is fine. No, no. You stay. I want... I want only you. Yes, that's what I want. Okay, I want... I want this army. I want this army to go here. And this army will have... I will command this? I will command it. Oh my god, there are 3,000? Oh my god. No, I cannot split my force now. I think... I, and, fr and it seems like... No, so I'm not going to command this. I'm going to send my best general. 3,300. The thing is... These are peasants. These are peasants. They will finish in six months. I will finish in five months. That's too risky. That's too risky. God damn it. I cannot win them with half my with half uh, the size. I cannot Can I win them? Should I even take the risk? Because I'm thinking about it. I will lead the army. And with a general of as I am, 
which is 20, right? Not 15. 15 is my martial skill, but as a, as a general, I'm 20. No. No, let's merge. Let's go to Tunis. Let's crush this revolt with my best general. That's a shame. There we go. We just disembarked on their... We're losing... We don't have the advantage because we just disembarked. And that's minus 30, which is a lot. That's it. You're in the jail. Um, what I'm gonna do with you? What I'm gonna do with you? Where are you? This guy. Yes. Um, wait. I'm going to execute you. Because I hate you. You came in such a bad time. During my war. Okay, now let's go to... Crush this... Okay, wait. Call to war. Fine. Um, the, the, yes, the house of the Abbas... Oh, the Abbasids are calling me to a war. They're far away. Fine. I will, I will come when I'm done here. I will send my, my other army. New cultural fascination. Your culture is not fascinated by the uh, chronicle written writing innovation. Let's see. My culture. Baranis. Which is I am the cultural leader. And that will give me... Um, Chronicle writing uh, effect, Casas Belly, Prestige, cost minus 10, can use individual de jure duchy, Casas Belly. Fine, what can I tell you? I can change it, right? Because I'm the, I'm the cultural head. I can go to a more civic way. Um, I think I want to change it. I think I, there is something that can give me money, as my character is greedy. No, I don't see something. Communal government. Development. Royal will give me... Um, no, development. That I already have. Coinage. What can I tell you? That seems fine. Coins. I don't know. I like coins. That's my cultural development. Okay. Oh, I can finally change my spy master. That annoying guy died of old age, old age good he was so annoying now a spy master this guy hates me because he offensive war against him who are you offensive your wars again oh that's the guy that i conquered um he's not a powerful vassal i can bring someone else even though he is no he hates me. If I will give him the position of a spy master, a capable guy like him, he's elusive shadow. He could kill me, basically. My half brother. Mm, can I bring a better steward than my half brother? No. My counselor? No. This guy, maybe. I need someone who I can trust. My wife. Fine. Oh, my wife is elusive shadow. Fine, wife. Thanks. Thank, thank you for serving me, my wife. Now I'm going to catch them. 200. I want to take Syracuse to myself. Now I saw that I have other prisoners here. There is this guy. Um, who are you? I imprisoned you. Did you try to rebel against me? I, I executed close rela close relation. I guess like you were trying to rebel with your brother against me. Well, unlike your brother, you are very powerful. And you you are not a lowborn, I can see. It's only you. You have a house. You have your own house. Wow. I have died. I have died because of... Died of natural causes. So how did I die? Died of natural causes on 9th, February 9th. Fine, at the age of 58. Not so old though. I expected to live longer. Amir El Umra Tamim of Africa has left the transit house at the call of the true one at 58 years of age. He died of unknown causes. Knowing to be an exceptional strategist, he spent many of his days examining the fields and drilling his troops. He did fight many battles. Amir El Umra Ismail ascended to the throne having mastered many skills. He is sure to be admired by his subject. Really? 
I'm really glad that they're saying this because I'm only 10 years old and there is a high chance I'm going to lose a lot of my power. At least I'm not splitted because I have no brothers and therefore... And therefore, you know, um, my, my realm is not divided. Um, and of course, my half-brother hates me. I'm sure that he desires no alliance, not a rightful liege. Yes, he, he desires probably the throne. If he kills me, he gets his throne to himself and then to his children, so why not? My wife, which is also my mother, is the spy master, which makes sense. I want my mother to take care of me. And vassals, there is this vassal who hates my guts. He's my vassal and a faris. He hates me because short reign, foreign culture. He wants a seat on the council and he's going to get a seat on the council. My best, he's a good strat uh, martial man. Uh, my uncle, my uncle is going to be my, yeah, even though he doesn't like me, my uncle is going to be this guy. My counselor is a good one, and I can change to a different, I can change to you. You're much more, you're much more capable than the other guy. Right, okay. Fine, you'll be my r religious person, religious affairs. Very capable, okay. Besides my mom, and the mom is the only one who likes me, and my religious person is like... I'm saying religious person because he's not my um, imam. He's my alma, which I don't know what is this. I've never heard of this word before, and I'm, I'm an Israeli. So, I mean, I'm Jewish, but, but there are many Muslims in the Middle East and my, as my neighbors. Um, so, I never heard, but anyway, maybe it's something North Africa, something Berber, and not something Arabic. But we're going to end this episode now because um, Amir El Umra has died and, um, and it's a new character and therefore it deserves a new episode. So guys, I hope you liked this episode. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to this channel. It will be a huge help to, you know, to, to spread the word, to spread the option of combining uh, Total War uh, with uh, CK3. If I will see other YouTube YouTubers doing this, it will be extremely flattering. Um, but I really enjoy this. I really enjoy this and don't, for, don't forget that it's also my first time doing a series in English. So I hope you find it still fun, even though it's not my native language and I hope it's understandable and, you know, if that it's flowing, that it's flowing well. Okay, guys, um, I'll see you in the next one. Yalla bye!